In this scenario, I am going to explain again about the authentication, but now we will learn a little more detail about the authentication. You know that in authentication of the EIGRP, we should configure keychain when we use MD5, and after that, we should apply it to the interface we want to enable authenticate on that interface. And we learn about the configuration of this I actually type of EIGRP authentication. Now I am going to add one option to the previous video. Let me to show you. First, step one, draw the topology in EVNG. We did it. Step two, interface IP address assignment and no shutdown command in router one, router three, and router three. Again, we did it. And step three, configure classic in EIGRP R1 and R2. We did it. And step four, configure name the IGRP in R3. Again, we did it. And finally, step five, check the routing table in R1, R2, and R3 and connectivity between router one and router three. Let me to show you. Look at here. This is the R1. Here you can use show IP root EIGRP. You can see that we have quad 3 slash 32, the network of router 3. In router 1, it means that EIGRP will work here is working correctly. And when you use ping quad 3 with the source of loopback 3, loopback 0, as you can see, we have connectivity. All right, now step 5 here. Uh, you know that uh, in step 6 actually we should configure authentication between R1, R2 and R3 with MD5. We know how we can configure authentication but here in step 7 we should configure two keys in each keychain. Each of them works in half of the year. Here we have this option accept lifetime send lifetime. I explained this option in the EIGRP course. Here we are implementing it. You know that uh, when we have multiple keys, EIGRP will use the first valid key for sending uh, and the actually authentication uh, value. And also for checking in the uh, destination, it can use all the keys. I explained it in, uh, in my EIGRP course here, only we are configuring this option. Let me to show you, for example, I want to configure in each keychain two keys. The first key is valid for the first six months and the second key is valid for the second six months of the, for example, year, for example, 2022. Okay, let me uh, to show you. It is so easy here. I'm going to configure in R1 keychain, con configure terminal, then keychain. The name of keychain is R1 key. For example, here we have key one and the key string is uh, CCNA. And after that, the send lifetime start from 0, 0, 0, 0. This is the time and then the day and then the months. And after that, the year 2022. Here you have, you can, this is the start from 2, uh, for example, again, 23, 59, 59. This is the, actually, uh, it means that from the, start of the day to the end of the day okay and after that to uh, for example 30 and here we have the june and then 2022 this is the same lifetime from the first second of the day of one uh, the first january the first in january 2023 22 to 23 59 59 uh, this is the clock and this is the day and this is the month and this is the year that's it also let me to use the same values for the uh, accept lifetime okay now we configured send lifetime and accept uh, accept lifetime you know that by default both of them are always valid for example if you configure the key 2 and then key a string cc and p Okay, let me to show you. Do show keychain. Now, the key tools valid uh, uh, accept lifetime always valid, send lifetime always valid. Okay, and but I want to change it uh, for this key to uh, the accept lifetime is from zero zero next day, one July. 2022 to again 23 59 and then 59 31 december 2022 this is the actually uh, accept lifetime also let me to configure the same values for the send lifetime look at here this is the send lifetime now 
we have a keychain with accept lifetime and also send lifetime for each of these keys show keychain can show us now the key two is valid why because today is the 25 of december in 2022 and let me to show you show a clock okay show clock can show us that this is the date the 25 december 2022 because of that only this key is valid but when uh, we are in the first six months this key is valid actually the rotor one uh, if you configure these values in the start of the year you will see that the key one is work and is working and after that the uh, after six months the key two will work and then we should use this keychain like the previous scenario configure terminal interface serial one zero ip authentication mode for eigrp as number one is r1 a key first md5 mode is md5 then ip authentication again keychain for eigrp one is r1 key that's it then let me to show you the router tools configuration here now we don't have adjacency configure terminal again uh, for example keychain r2 key okay and then key one the key string is the ccna and after that send the lifetime again zero 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 one january 2022 to 23 59 59 uh, for example the 30 june 2022 and also the same values for the uh, actually accept lifetime accept then lifetime okay and also let me to configure the key to key a string is the ccmp and send lifetime is from 0000 1 july 2022 to again 23 59 59 for example 31 december 2022 and after that also uh, for the uh, accept lifetime let me to configure it and this is our keychain now do show a keychain as you can see again the key 2 is valid and also i want to use it on the serial 10 and uh, ip authentication uh, for example mode for eigrp1 is md5 ip authentication actually a uh, keychain for eigrp1 is r2 key that's it also in the inter interface serial 11 one, i will use the same commands ip uh, authentication mode for eigrp1 md5 and ip authentication keychain for r1 key actually for eigrp1 is r2 key also in the router 3 we should configure the similar keychain let me to configure them also in router 2 show run and um, can show us the configuration of keychain let me to copy it and then we can paste it on the router 3 it is easier and here the name of keychain is r2 key it's not it's not it's okay and then router eigrp lab here we configured the eigrp with the named method again address family ipv4 unicast as number one for af interface uh, for example serial one zero authentication mode is md5 authentication keychain is r2 key for example and after that we will have neighborship okay and now in r1 as you can see again show ip root can show us that we have a quad 3 and we can send traffic to this network ping quad 3 source loopback 0 it works and also here show interface detail uh, if, show eigrp interface actually and then uh, interface and then show eigrp show ip eigrp okay interface detail serial one zero can show us that now we are using this authentication mode md5 keychain is r1 key and also uh, you can use other command show uh, for example r3 show eigrp address family ipv4 then interface or detail serial one zero again here we have similar condition authentication mode is md5 and keychain is r2 key actually now we know about the options that we have in the k2 
keychain. You know that this keychain can be used with other features like HSRP, like other things. Also, here in configure terminal, if you use uh, the keychain again, for example, R2 key, and then define the key one, uh, here you have um, some options. Look at here, about the accept lifetime. When you use accept lifetime, you can say, uh, for example, uh, local, and if you use local, this is specified, this is a specified time in local time zone, okay, not UTC. And after that, for example, you can say uh, from 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 00, 01 January 2002. And here we have one other option. Uh, we use the uh, time to stop, but you can but you can use infinite. This is never expires and you can use duration set key lifetime duration for example duration and after that some second here we have these options also also for send lifetime we have these options all right now we know about the eigrp authentication a little more detail